I'm Zach Anderson from Plant High School TV3. Physics is a science that has been around for thousands of years. This year, Mr. Mason's physics class are experimenting with rockets that are propelled by water and compressed air. Let's find out how it works. Basically how this works is we put a bunch of water into the rocket and then pressurize it. All the pressure gets in here, it stays in here, and when you release it, all the pressure goes out this one spot. It makes the rocket go straight up. I put a tennis ball in the nose cone, so it's definitely going to win. Rocket flew pretty well today. First time building a rocket, rocket expert here. Uh, definitely learned something, know what to do next time, so that's good, it's good to know. I'd say it went about 100, 100 to 200 feet up in the air, uh, that's pretty good. Um, we're doing rockets to focus on the trajectory of the rockets and to see what the air resistance will have an effect on them. Uh, what the students were doing, we were just demonstrating some of Newton's laws. So uh, what they actually saw here was Newton's third law, action-reaction. So what's happening is the pressure from the pump with the air is putting pressure on the water that's been filled. And as the water leaves, that is what, that's what causes the rocket to go up. All right, so it's just action reaction. Water leaves, the pressure from the bottle leaves the, uh, leaves the bottle and then go one way, rocket goes the other way. There you have it. Now we know that a soda ball can be propelled by water and air. I'm Zach Anderson. Have a good day, plant.